crazy love. Give it up for We Spoke. <laughs> here at the stage, beautiful venue. I've never seen a venue like this, and I'm just so happy to see so many beautiful faces out. Uh, my name is Xavier Cool Kid, and I created We Spoke. Uh, okay. We Spoke is an alumni team uh, to Heard Him Say, which is a team organization um, in Tampa Bay that is run by Wally B. Jennings. Um, so, yeah, we all came through Team Poetry, and now we're adult poem, poem, poets doing our thing here, so uh, we hope to, you know, then y'all get some little vibes going. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do a poem for y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all yeah. ready? Yeah! All right, so if you're ready to hear a poem, say spit, poet. Spit, poet. poet. If you're ready to hear a poem, say speak, poet. Speak, speak poet. poet. If you're ready to hear a poem, just say, Zina, just speak. Say, Zina, speak. All right, I'm gonna do a poem for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, my mother used to tell me to watch what I say. Think twice before opening my mouth and picking and choosing my battles wisely. But as I turn the TV screen on, all those morals fly out the window. How do they expect me to tongue twist my tongue when I'm about a speck of brown in a sea full of milk? As I sit disgusted as my TV screen barks at me that this old white man is trying to make America great again as if America was ever great in the first place. I mean, it's not like this country was stolen or anything. I mean, it's not like white people are immigrants too. I mean, it's not about race. It's about him practicing his democracy. Every time I think about the phrase, make America great again, I get this image in my mind that America doesn't want to be a melting pot, but simply a bowl of sugar. Well, ain't shit sweet when you have people like hey. Donald Trump and Stacey Dash on TV screen spitting on black and brown children, telling them that they don't matter. I mean, come on, Stacey. I don't know how much Fox News pay for you to spread your ignorance all over our TV screen, but I assure you, it won't erase your melanin. I mean, did you forget where you come from? You say that you are black, that you are American, but have you ever opened up a textbook? Where has it ever said that our people were cradled in the arms of Lady Liberty, sucking freedom from her bosom when actuality you were plucked from a black nipple and that hey, was called patriotism? I bet you have a 2016 Donald Trump sticker on your bumper. I'm exhausted of people trying to speak for my people, pretty much saying that we don't speak proper enough. Well, ain't nobody got time for that. We big have long lives and I still can't breathe my mother taught me to pick and choose my battles wisely. That's why every time I see a cop in my rearview mirror, I hope and pray that that day was not the day he chose to do his job. Every day I wake up in a country where my people, every day I wake up in a country where I'm supposed to be grateful to live in, but my people are seen as disposable. My melanin is seen as a weapon, but my culture, that's for everyone to enjoy. Correct. Maybe my mother taught me these things because she knew she had to raise her son in a racist, misogynistic society. She had to teach her son to she had to teach her son to speak. To speak her son. Sorry. She had to teach her son to watch what he says like a black boy in a gas station. He needs to think twice before he speaks, before he becomes a statistic. But how can I pick and choose my battles where I live in a country where I lose before I even choose to All right. fight? All right. Yeah. 